all right what's good everybody it's your boy iso and as y'all see man we were returning here with the tournament of anime as y'all know last time fate took down hunter x hunter in a series of events but hunter x hunter will be in the losers bracket and have potential for updates but today we come here with something different the one escanor and his seven deadly sins lineup going against the martial arts team with jin mori ipo and some of my other favorite characters this is definitely bound to be a crazy ass matchup because people like escanor and on them are so crazy but they're going against ipo the martial arts squad with a new kenshi Man, I hope you enjoy this. It's definitely gonna be a good ass video and let's get right into it. All right, what's good everybody? It's your boy Ice One. As y'all see, man, today we are back here with the tournament of anime. As y'all know, man, we are moving on inside the bracket. I didn't get to oh no, I did update. Okay, so we're at episode four, as y'all see right here. Seven daily sins against the martial arts team. This is bound to be a banger. As y'all know, man, many teams are getting buffed and nerfed every single day. So if y'all want to see who gets buffed, see who gets nerfed, join the Discord down below. If y'all want to download any of these edits, make sure to join the Discord down below. Or if you guys want to commission cheap edit ten dollars, buy one, get one free, all that types of stuff, make sure to join the Discord down below. But I hope you'll enjoy man we are here with seven daily sins going against the martial arts team two very strong squads man seven daily sins with brand new people martial arts are brand new people man and this is gonna be crazy man 9v9 a lot of teams are already getting set to the loser bracket as y'all know you will get another chance in a loser bracket but once you lose you gone man if you lose twice but we're gonna get into this and let's get into round one with the third week well the weakest team of both sides all right all right all right man we are here this shit finna get crazy, man. I'm excited to see how this shit goes because we got my boy Sendo catching this nigga off rip. And, we, you know, the fighting team got, in, got a little stronger, man. They're a little stronger now. They're a little bit more exciting to watch, man. And same thing with 7 Deadly Sins. You know 7 Deadly Sins usually loses damn near first round every time. We're trying to see if they break that streak today, man. You feel me? This Is it finally time for the 7 Deadly Sins, you know, to show who they, you know, who they are? And uh, can they make it out of this? As y'all know, 7 of the Sins starting out with uh, Derriere against Sendo. Derriere got a huge update, got a lot stronger because she wasn't really doing shit at first. And oh my god, that 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 uh that Street Fighter assist was tough. I'm not gonna lie, a little leg tornado type thing was definitely fire. Um her and Sendo are getting at it right now though. Okay. Sendo with the uppercut. Okay, nice damage right now. It's not looking it's not looking too good for uh Derriere right now. I'm not gonna lie. Sendo's starting it off really strong for the fighting team, putting in a lot of damage, getting you know nice little combos in, and it's it, it hurts. It hurts. We can see that very early, very clear, because you can just see off rip that, you know, she's taking a good amount of damage. I, I don't know. My boy Sendo's definitely gonna uh you know, he's gonna have to do something. He's gonna have to try a little harder, but bro, bro's definitely trying right now. Okay. Okay, nice little combos and shit. Nice little damage right here. Okay, and I'm not gonna lie, Sendo's trying to get that little counter off. It's not landing for some reason. Derriere not having the best start right now. She's definitely having a little bit of weakness. She is the weakest of the team, though, so I expect to her, you know, she ain't the strongest. She, you know, she's trying to get her job done. She's doing decent damage to Sendo, which is, you know, the best we could ask for from her because she ain't too crazy. Okay. Oh, my God. Wait a minute. Okay, combo in the corner. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, it's over. Oh, yeah, it's over. Sendo sent her into the moon. Yep. Sendo sends her Oh, I'm pretty sure Derriere is dead now. Yes, now we have Estorosa stepping out on the field. And Meliodas is still in the back as well. So, you know, they, they still have two more people. Meliodas steps on the field early, actually. Obviously, he has to take on some very decent people. He has to take on Sendo. And he has to take on... um. You know, Ryu, along with Jin Mori, that's not three easy people to verse, but Meliodas is a brand new character, brand new edit, so, uh, you know, he's not weak. He's definitely strong. He has nice counters, which is good against the fighting team because they're very physical. Okay. Ryu with a look, Kamehameha looking type move. Okay. I know it's Hadouken, but it looked like a Hadouken beam, which is kind of tough. I I'm messing with it. Okay, he counters Sendo's uppercut. It's a Sendo in the corner, and I'm not gonna lie, Melios took a little bit of damage here, but he's not really uh losing too much to Sendo. He's really taking a lot of damage from this assist right here. I'm not gonna lie. And Jin Mori right there getting some nice hits in. I'm not gonna lie, Sendo started off for his team very well. He's using his assist at the right times. He's comboing with his assist, but I think he might be sent home right there. Yep. Okay, he's gone. He got full countered. Um, I think that might have been a revenge counter or a full power. I don't, I don't know, but uh, we see a couple things going on here. Okay. Re the new Ryu that you guys have been sending me for a while. Now, he finally got an edit. As y'all know, he's stronger than the old Ryu. And we're going to see him with the fighting team, see what he can do. But Meliodas counters him into a full power ultimate counter. And, yeah, it does a little bit of damage. I'm not going to lie. Meliodas starting to bring this back. It's a 2v2 again. Okay. 
But Ryu is not no clown, bro. He's not going to let my boy uh, Meliodas do nothing, get no free hits on him. And here we go. We got Meliodas going into his first uh, his first mode. Pretty sure this is like, you know, not the full demon state, but, you know, he has some pretty good, like, it's like the demon starting to take over a little bit. My boy's starting to let that full demon back out. That, that demon king Meliodas is starting to come back out. Okay. Yep, Ryu with some combos. Yeah, I know. That's one thing about the martial arts team. They got some combos. They're going to combo you up. Okay. Oh, my God. Meliodas putting in work. Okay. Oh, and here we go. We got my boy Ryu popping his uh his little demon type mode right here. And uh, let's see if this is enough to take down, obviously. This is the strongest of 7 Ellie Sins taking him on right now. So it's not going to be easy either way. Oh, my God. Ryu getting some nice damage and comboing in the corner. And I'm not going to lie. I actually do like this Ryu a lot. Like, I'm not surprised that he's this strong. And he's uh. He's putting some he's putting some aggressiveness in the corner right now on the on the seven deadly sin squad. Okay, yep, nice damage. Nice hits in the corner. Okay. Oh yeah, he's on. He's on ass. He's on ass. Belt to ass. Okay. Nice little bits of damage. Yo, he's he's literally just swinging. That boy's going crazy in that corner. Here we go. Okay, Esther Rosa coming back out here trying to do something, make sure that his team doesn't fall here. And um Yo, Ryu is a lot stronger than I remember. I'm not lying. Ryu's putting in some work. He's putting in some heavy, some heavy lifting for his team right now, giving them the lead back in this match again. And Jim Mori's assist is garbage. I'm not gonna lie, he's barely even hitting that. Okay, now we got this is where Esterosa starts to get stronger. This is where he starts to get serious because he he, he he's starting he's, he's getting decent. Ooh, nice damage to the stomach. And um yeah, Esterosa, he's getting ready, he's getting ready to you immediately. Once Esterosa starts to lock in, he's gonna make sure you get knocked out fast. Ryu got kicked, got knocked out really quick by my boy. But now we got Jin Mori stepping in here. Jin Mori's going to have a little bit of a time, too, because like I said, Estarosa is not a weak character. He was the strongest on the 7 Deadly Sins team last tournament. And now that he has new teammates, it's just going to make it harder for the, his, his opponents because he's still the same strength. Okay. And y'all see, like I said, he combos with his dogs. He lets his dogs out on the loose. And with all this, man, he gets nice damage off. Okay, Jin Mori transforming here. Looks like Seven Deadly Sins starting to bring back this round once again, man. They they keep falling and then coming back real quick. And now here we go. We got Mael transformation coming from my boy Estorosa, and we're gonna see what this what, what he can get done with this. Okay. Oh yeah, nice nice combos, nice hits. Yep, Jim Mori getting some nice hits off. Oh my God, yep, Jim Mori Jim Mori getting shit done right now. Okay. Oh, yeah, with the lightning strikes from the clouds, with the nice little combos, with the martial arts. And Jim Mori, oh, yeah, the Monkey King's getting it done. The Monkey King's getting it done. He knocked that against the sky. He said, you, you think you all that? Let me show you something. Let me show you something. Okay, Meliodas going into his full, yeah, full power. Yep. Oh, my God, look at the damage he's doing to Jim Mori right now. Oh, yeah, this is the Meliodas I remember. This is the Meliodas I remember from back in the day. Oh, my God. Okay. Oh, yeah, some of the sins coming crazy. Oh, yeah, this thing is giving Jim Mori a time right now. Okay, time stop. Uh-oh, he needs to take advantage of this. I'm not going to lie, because this is the only time he's getting his damage off. Okay. Okay, he's taking advantage of it. He's taking advantage of it. Oh, he won. Oh, Jim Mori wins there. Wait, does he? Oh, yeah, Jim Mori wins there, giving the martial arts team round one. All right, we well, are here with the second match. And can Escanor save the Seven Deadly Sins team from elimination? As y'all know, when a team does go down 1-0, sometimes, most of the time, they do pop their characters. What the hell? All right, as I was saying, man, this nigga Baki starts tweaking. But as I said, man, we will go to the strongest teams when a team's down 1-0 because, you know, it, they need help. We're going to see if Escanor can save 7 Daily Sins. Will they be eliminated even after getting huge buffs, man? It will be sad to see because they're going against they're going against Yujiro and Baki. That's a scary lineup. Two very scary people. And... It's, it's up to Escanor. It's up to Escanor, not alone, but damn near alone with, uh, you know, with, when it comes to a lot of new people, by the way. Okay. Okay. Okay, some nice combos from Mael. Mael started off right, getting right with Baki, trying to get some combos in. But Baki, as y'all know, is not easy to take down. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. Oh my god. Okay, Baki just took mad damage from Yujiro. Did Yujiro just one-shot Baki? Nah, couldn't be, right? No way. Baki has to be alive in the background. Has to be a health glitch. Because I just seen Yujiro come out and attack Baki. This nigga always attacking teammates. Okay. Okay. I don't know if he was the right person to switch out to because Miles combo his ass up. Okay. Oh my god. Okay. Nice little combos. Okay. Oh my god, nice little damage. Okay. 
Oh, yeah, and here we go. Okay, you drew going into his demon back form, and is, this is finna get crazy. Okay. Okay, you drew still kind of getting calm, but I'm not gonna lie, my L is locked in. My L's been a scary character, been somebody to worry about, and we're seeing why niggas is worried about him right now. Okay. And as y'all know, Mael, okay, I'm not gonna lie, Mael's getting comboed up right now, but Mael, as he goes into the background, as y'all know, Escanor is still in the back. Escanor is still ready to fight. He can't get shit done, and we, we'd have to see him do it, though. Okay. Oh, my God. And there we go. I think Mael, oh, is Mael dead? Oh, yeah, Mael's dead. Oh, wait, no, he's not dead. One shot? Oh, I thought bro was for the one shot. Okay. Oh, yeah, he's dead now. Yeah, he's dead now. He's dead now. Is he dead? Bro, these niggas be throwing out. They just be keep fighting, bro. They do not want to stop fighting. Okay. I'm not gonna lie. I don't know if Yujiro can kill this nigga. These niggas are just throwing straight hits. Okay. I don't know if Baki is dead. That's why I would just fix the round real quick and drop out my boy Mael. But I don't know if Maki, Baki is dead. And I don't want to really risk, you know, throwing Baki in there and him not being, you know, I'm pretty sure he is dead. But like I said, I don't know for sure. It looked like it literally I literally watched him lose all his health, but I've seen him do that bar for bar before. So I really have no idea for sure. Um Okay. I might just bring it to a 2v2 being Tor Toriko and my boy uh Toriko and my boy Baki against uh Bon and es Escanor. I'm not even gonna lie. That's what it's looking like. All right, this is finna get crazy. I decided to make it a 2v2 just because I felt like um, e even if Baki wasn't really didn't have that much health, he just like, he. I don't think he was dead. I don't know for sure. If he was dead, then that definitely was a bug. So I decided to go for a 2v2 right here. And we're going to see if 7 Daily Sins is done. Are they done permanently? Or can they, you know, Baki, can Bon and Eskimo bring it back? And oh my God, Baki's running him down. Okay. Okay. And even if they win, the 7 Daily Sins still needs to get another round in because they're down one zero but they're losing right now but you know like i said Escanor is gonna have to be a, a huge hope for them and bond obviously bond's gonna have to put some work in. he's doing pretty good right now but with the Escanor assist doing good amounts of damage they're actually starting off pretty well okay baki trying to chase him down toriko coming in helping that boy out okay here we go we got you we got okay bond using his, his ultimate attack comboing up a little bit comboing in the air and this is where Yvon gets a lot stronger. If y'all seen the 7 Daily Sin Showcase video, then y'all know he definitely gets right when this boy starts to do these extra attacks and shit like that. Okay. Okay. Oh my god. Nice combos. Oh my god. Okay. I'm not gonna lie. Baki's starting to bring this back bad right now. I'm not gonna lie. My boy Bond needs to lock in because if he doesn't, then 7 Daily Sin's gonna get sent home. Okay. Okay, B Baki going to his mode now. It's a mode versus mode battle. My boy Bond, as y'all know, has a lot of regeneration, but it might not be enough for this battle right now. Okay. Okay, nice little bits of damage. Oh, Baki got him in the air. Baki got him in the air. Baki got this boy in the air. Okay. Bond getting some damage off wall healing right here. This might what he this might be what he needs. Okay, Bot getting a little bit of damage in. Okay, wait a minute. Mm. Oh, that was nice damage. But Escanor stops the attack right there, being a W teammate. Okay. And who's gonna end win this? Is Baki gonna end this match off or is is does Bond have it? Oh wait, it's gonna hurt. Yep, that's gonna hurt. Okay, I'm not gonna lie, I might be over here. Okay, yo, I'm not gonna lie, Baki's getting hit by Escanor's little burn procs every once in a while. And this is this is bad. This is very, very bad. For uh seven of the sins that is, obviously. Yep, there we go. I'm not gonna lie, Bond's gone here. Bond's gone here. Mm, Bond's gone here. Yep, and there goes Bond of Seven Daily Sins. Now it's just the one man left, Escanor, the one. Can Escanor bring this game back by himself? As y'all know, this is the brand new Escanor with different times. You know, he can go, obviously, in the new and all that stuff, etc. And it's not going to be easy for bro. Okay. Cool and the cool sun. Okay, I'm not going to lie. Baki doing some nice damage on my boy Escanor. Oh, countering Baki and Toriko. And now it's 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 a 1v1. I'm not going to lie. I think Escanor made quick work of Baki. Okay. Okay, Escanor putting on some very good pressure on my boy Toriko, a very, you know, a new person who's very strong. He took down, he made his spot inside of the fighting scene for a reason, but Escanor is, you know, a monster in his own right. He hasn't even got to proc his noon mode yet. Is, will Toriko even get him there? Okay. This nigga's gonna pull out a performance of Legends. This nigga's going crazy. He said, no, we're not losing here. I promise you that. 
But Toriko does have a mode if he does pop it. Okay, here we go. Toriko pops his mode here now, getting a lot stronger here. So hopefully this is enough to help him. Okay, Toriko running down on Escanor. Okay, and Toriko trying to block Escanor's attack, but he's not able to block that. And Escanor is kind of just bullying Toriko, not even in mode. As you'll know, the, the later the day gets, the stronger he gets. But the daytime hasn't even got close to noon yet. Yeah, it's not looking good. Okay. Okay. Nice little combos. Wait a minute, he's doing some nice damage. Uh-oh. It's Lion Sin Escanor. Oh, okay. I'm not gonna lie. Here we go. We got Escanor popping out. And can he save the day in this battle? Obviously, y'all see he's doing some pretty, some pretty nice damage. And he runs through Toriko. Oh, Toriko doing some damage here, though. What is this? Okay, that shit. That was like a last resort ultimate or something. Okay, he just got health back again. I don't know if he just popped the same move. Oh, here we go. Okay, Escanor, it's literally noon now. It's 12 o'clock. This is not the one Escanor. It's not peak noon, but it is noon. I'm not gonna lie, Escanor is running this boy down, but for some reason, um, Toriko is like, he's literally just, he's getting health back a couple different times. It might be over for bro, though. I'm not gonna lie, it might be over for bro. Oh my god, this nigga's eating. He's trying to make sure Escanor don't kill his ass. Okay. Okay. Oh my god. You know, this boy Toriko is putting in work a little bit. Oh, no, I think it's over for bro. I think it's over for bro. Yeah, Escanor sends him home. Yo, is this nigga not dead yet? Oh, yeah, he's, he's he, he must be bugged or something. Yeah, and Escanor takes that round. All right, and if the Emily Sins can win this match here, it's 1-1. One, one. Who can they take down? I feel like this is definitely going to be a good one right here. We got uh, Akuma back on the team. They got Epo. They got some pretty scary people. And But same thing, 7 Deadly Sins ain't weak. You feel me? They, they're obviously here for a reason. They got a new Zeldris. They got King. We're going to see what this squad can do right here. Okay. Merlin would have buffed, obviously. She did get buffed as well, but Akuma did it as well. So both of these characters are stronger than they were. We got to see what happens here. Okay, nice little bit of combos. Okay. As you know, Merlin tends to get nice with the combo. She has a nice range sometimes, but Akuma is a very strong character as well. As you'll see, he's starting to get the advantage for the beginning, and that's bad because the fighting team has three strong people. They have Akuma, they have Kenshiro, and they have Ippo, which is not... Oh my god, they're comboing crazy right now. Okay, I don't know what that was right there, but that was gas. Okay. Okay, Merlin's starting to lock in a little bit. Okay, my boy King comes in for a second to help out. Doesn't actually do anything. Not from my uh not from what I'm seeing. Akuma looks like he popped mode, I believe. And it's looked like it's gonna be a 2v3 in a second. Merlin's trying to get some damage, and she's trying to do something here, but it doesn't look like it's enough. Okay, never mind. She's starting to bring it back a little bit. Let me not speak too early. Okay. Oh, yeah, she's getting jumped. What is this? Oh, Akuma, he wasn't even in mode yet? Oh, I was wrong. Okay, it doesn't... Oh, yeah, she's still trying to performing. I'm not gonna lie. Okay, and now King coming in and taking her spot. The brand new King, the str strongest person on Seven Deadly Sins. And could even be the first, but Escanor obviously is a bad matchup for bro. So I'm not going to lie, he is a ranged demon. This map right here, I'm not going to lie, is actually kind of helping bro out a little bit. But he, he, he has to keep his enemy away. Oh, I'm not going to lie, him and Merlin's actually a pretty tough duel because Merlin's attacking from the back too. They're, they're kind of ranging people down together. Okay. Oh, yeah. And Merlin's throwing in fireballs. King is throwing in his, you know, his chastity full. And yo, th this is kind of a tough, like, little secret here. They're literally just jumping Epo. Oh, yeah, it's not looking good right now. It's not looking good right now. Even though Epo is close, literally King is just ranging him down. Merlin and him might have been the right combo. Okay. Yo, Epo literally can't get close in this map. It's literally, I'm not going to lie, it's located at King's Advantage. This is, uh, we, we picked random, y'all seen. This is literally, I'm not going to lie, this is kind of just to Epo's, not Epo, King's Advantage. Okay, Epo popping mode now. Can Epo get close with mode? He's dodging a little bit, bobbing and weaving. Oh my god, it doesn't even matter. Okay, wait, it does matter, it does matter. He got close. He got close, but he's kind of getting rushed now. And bro got knocked back even further, which is bad for him because this is not good. This nigga King is running the gauntlet right now. Okay. 
Yeah, he's literally, Epo's trying to bob and weave. He literally just can't get close. Now we have Kenshiro. Can Kenshiro get close to my boy King? Oh, he knocks King out the air. That might be the move. That might be the way to do it. Oh my God, and the damage King Shiro's doing. Okay, but yeah, I'm not gonna lie. King got him super far, damn near across the map, and he's still attacking. I'm not gonna lie, Merlin's dead. Merlin's dead. I think Merlin just died there. Yo, and the, yo, I'm not gonna lie. Kenshiro's doing hella damage. Okay. King getting his King getting his advantage back a little bit. He's he doesn't have the range he wants, but he does have the speed and the attacks that he has to get off. This could be close right now. Okay. And yo, I'm not gonna lie, Epo music is making shit better. <laughs> yo, the range team, they all just be tracking their opponents down. Not range team, but the, the seven deadly sins team right now. They're getting done what they need to get done. Kenshiro getting close range. This might be what Seven Deadly Sins doesn't want. Even though he's close, Kench. Oh, here we go. Wait a minute. Chastity Fold. King not getting that much health back from Chastity Fold, though. Oh my god, the Guardian looks tough. But he does get the range advantage. If Kenshiro gets one more of them Kanbei Hame Hot type moves off, it might be over for King. Okay. Oh my god. Okay, that was tough. Yo, I'm not gonna lie, this chassis fold is a, is a, yo, what is this? What is this? Oh, I'm not gonna lie, Kenshiro looks locked in. Nigga has two modes? Yo, Kenshiro is gas. But I'm not gonna lie, King might be taking him home. King might take this one home. And King takes it home for Seven Deadly Sins, making it 2-1, and Seven Deadly Sins moves on.